Good afternoon, Bulldogs. We're going to see a very pleasant afternoon across much of northeast Mississippi. It's going to be a lot cooler than what we've seen, though, um, over the last couple days. We're going to get up to the 60s by the noontime hour with just a couple high clouds here and there across the region before we warm into the mid-60s by the 3 o'clock hour. And then we'll cool back down pretty quickly back into the upper 50s by 6 o'clock. And this is about 10 degrees or so below average for where we should be at this time of year. And this, we can thank this high pressure system that is over our area for the lack of clouds we're going to see. Really no clouds in sight as we go throughout the evening. That high pressure is going to push off to the east though as we head throughout tonight and into early tomorrow. And, and for your Saturday, again, looking at no clouds in the sky. It's a beautiful day for game day tomorrow. And uh, this will continue to be the case tomorrow night if you have any plans after the football game. But as we go into Sunday morning, we'll see some clouds start to build back into our area. And uh, those will really push off to the north, not expecting much rain with those as we go throughout the course of the day on Sunday. So we play Texas A&M this weekend. It's going to be a beautiful forecast, as I said. We're going to start out in the mid-60s around the noontime hour if you have any pre-game plans. As we go into 3 o'clock, we'll warm up into the lower 70s, still with beautiful weather. And then as we go into 7 o'clock, we're going to stay clear with temperatures right around the 60-degree mark. So for tonight, we're going to be very cold. Look at that, 40 degrees tonight for our low, clear and chilly. North winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, low 70s, 72 degrees, abundant sunshine and pleasant for your game day against Texas A&M. And for your next seven days, sunny, or I should say generally sunny conditions across the board with highs in the 70s this weekend and highs approaching the 80s as we head into next week.